Bum bum ba -da -da. Hello everyone, I am Katana, the Lightning Cat. Watching some Dragon Ball Super. Well, paused actually. And filling out a Google ad survey. Rather boring, but if if <coughs> if I want improved performance such as the integration of Google Ads, YouTube, and um, a regular um, Google account. If I want all three of those merged together into an easy click over here instead of opening a new tab thing, I have to give feedback like this so that they know. So that's why in addition to actually filling out this thingy here, which is going to take a while, I'm doing this little video for um, informa informative, informational, informative purposes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing repetitive questions so that they get a baseline for what to do what and when to who what why and where and how and all that so why not I'm just gonna go through these I'm not gonna read them out loud because you guys who are using Google Ads this is gonna get mundane and you guys who don't know you, you pay money to these guys and they advertise they make a video ad for you. you. You make a video. You submit it for review. They review it, approve it or disapprove it. Once it gets approved, it gets shown to everyone. And they have a clickable link. That, and that's how I'm getting a lot of people to view my, um, my channel advertisement that I made. And that's how I've gotten a bunch of people subscribed already who think, oh yeah, I'll check this guy out and see what he's doing. That's how I've gotten a bunch of you guys already. Um, honestly, a lot of this stuff is not important to me, such as I need to target customers based on their location. That's easy when I'm setting up the ad itself. I just type in the, the name of the location and boom, it's highlighted. There we go. Easy. I need to be able to choose where my ads appear. Nope. Don't need to worry about that. I need more information about people who interact with my ads. And I don't need more information about all you guys. I really don't. If you choose to share information with me, that's your prerogative. I need to understand the returns impact on my business from the money I spend. No, I already see that quite clearly from subscribers. Um, suggestions for keywords that are most cost effective no I'm quite content with where I am right now I will learn as I go I need to be able to manage my ad campaign easily through the, a mobile app that is least important to me honestly image ad I did say I wasn't going to read most of these and then I went and read most of these Yep, I just proved myself a liar. I don't need to target people based on their location. How my image ad? Okay, yeah. For this few bits right here, yeah. I'd like to see how my um, image display ad appears to people. Yeah, a nice preview of how it looks. That, that would be cool. And it would make it um, that, yeah, my Google Ads success would stay the same, honestly, because that's an aesthetic. It's mostly for psychological purposes. <clears throat> On to another one. Track leads. Who contacted me from Google Ads? Nope. Confirmation that I've set up conversion tracking correctly. Yeah, because I don't understand all that. It uses all the technical jargon, but I need it converted into uh, layman's terms. Because 
I like to keep things simple. Google. If, if, if there's a, a room on the end of this survey for me to type in an additional comment, it's going to be, use layman's terms, keep it simple, use the KISS method introduced by AV on YouTube. Well, I'm not going to say introduced, I take that back, that's retraction. Use the KISS method that I like the way AV says it. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, keep it simple. The KISS method. Keep it simple. Stupid simple. Consistent advice. Advice across support agents. No, not yet. Guidance on how many ads to write. No, I don't need that. How my campaign can be improved. Not yet. And then to understand returns impact from the money I spend. No, I can see that clearly. It's about 0.1 or 0.01 percent uh, a return impact from the money I spend. So you know, let's say a hundred people see the ad. Ten percent of those, ten people will click on it, and of those ten people, one person will subscribe to my channel <coughs> because that's how many of those hundred people think, okay, I'll check this guy out and see what he's about. Oh. Little side note. I may hate humanity holistically because of where it's at right now, but that will change eventually. Individual people are okay. And some are even more tolerable than others. Some of them I even call friend. But humanity holistically is not looking good right now. Right, side note aside, back to this thingy. Guidance with writing more effective ad text. No, I'm being honest and open. I don't need that at all. I don't want to start lying and shit. Ooh. How many ads to write? No. Confirmation that I've set up conversion tracking. That would be much easier. Because I need it in simple terms. Because I've I have way so much to do. And only one me to do it all in. So, keeping everything as simple as possible will be most beneficial for me. And everyone else using Google Ads. <coughs> Manage my campaign easily through a mobile app? No. That is the least important to me right there. Target customers based on their interest and specific topics? No. If they like what I do and who I am, they will subscribe to my channel and stay subscribed. If they don't like it, they will bugger off and go find someone else who they do like. Target customers who are looking for business I compete with? No. Maybe. A little. Yes. A little. But I don't want to focus on that. Based on their location? No. My campaign can be improved further? Not right now. How much time to spend for... How much money to spend for the outcome I want? No. I don't need to worry about that right now. Understand why I can't see my ads online? That's because I'm not supposed to. If I set up the ad, I'm not supposed to see it, because if I can see it and click on it, that counts as an interest or a conversion, or, um, and it, it counts towards how much money I spend per click, uh, per day, towards my monthly maximum. So, if I click on my own ad, I'm basically taking money away from myself. That's why I can't see my ad online. I know that. So, which one of these is the most important to me? I need... basically to know if my campaign can be improved further. But that's a wide subject. Since I have to pick something there, it's going to be if my ad campaign can be improved further. The rest of those are not very important to me. 
I'm going to be the realest YouTuber ever. However, I will do stupid shit just for the fuck's sake fun of it. Um, it would be somewhat easier to know how it can be improved further because I'm still learning how this thing works. This is a snapshot of my current level of understanding and needs for Google Ads. So, yeah, Google. You guys over in the ad department, please understand that, if any of you see this video. <sighs> Difference between AdWords Express, AdWords, and Google My Business. Yeah, I need to understand why they're separate. Need to know when an ad is performing better than expected? No. Need to target customers based on their demographics? No. I already know the answer to that. The real answer is yes, but I'm not going to focus on it. Educate my colleagues or clients. Yes, I need to educate you guys on how Google Ads works. That way you understand why I have an advertising campaign. Need to be able to track leads. Who contacted me? Nope, nope. If you guys want to let me know that, you will let me know that. I need to know when an ad is performing worse than expected. Nope. I need help understanding the performance metrics. No, I understand that quite clearly. It's black and white. Just give me a nice line graph and I'll be fine. <clears throat> Targeting people based on their demographics is least important to me right now. I say right now because you, you guys need to understand that right now is a very important subject even though time is an illusion right now in this momentum the current momentum that we have it, it'd be a little easier if I could educate people which I'm trying to do right now I'm also educating myself How my ad performance changes over time. My campaign can be improved further. How my campaign can be improved. Understand the performance metrics. When the ad is performing better than expected. How using Google Ads will benefit. Yeah, I know how using it has benefited my business. I, I've gotten like a bunch of you guys through Google Ads. Because you got interested and intrigued. And you thought, okay, I'll check this guy out and see what he's doing. I need to know how much I've spent on my ad campaigns. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay. Um, out of those options the most important would be the performance changes just give me a nice line graph and the least important would be how much money I've spent because I don't need to focus on that I need to focus on being a good youtuber and being entertaining and informative and trying to merge those two together nice line graph would make it somewhat easier but it would also make it fun for me I like line graphs for some reason I prefer a line graph over a pie chart yeah <clears throat> hey nerds I'm gonna nerd out over a nice line graph pie chart people don't get offended it's just the thing. How my text ad appears. Yeah, I would love a preview. How well my ads perform compared to similar businesses. Compared to Pewds, Pewds doesn't even have a Google ad. How my image display ad appears to customers on Google Partner site. No, 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 yeah, yeah, that. A preview. Track who from Google Ads became a customer. Nope. 
guidance on how to make my ad more noticeable not right now need to target B2B business to business customers not right now see all Google Ads related results in my Google Ads account um, yeah I don't want to compare myself to similar businesses but at the same time it's least important to know who became my customer it doesn't matter your demographic your age race sex it doesn't matter if you enjoy what I do you'll enjoy what I do uh, how my image display it would be somewhat easier but it would be more fun to see a preview <clears throat> need to see all Google Ads related results no guidance with writing more effective text no I might keep it real guidance on how to make my ad more noticeable no not right now maybe but I'm not going to focus on it customers who are looking for business I compete with honestly yes but I don't want to focus on it add to customers who had visited my website no because if you visited and decided it wasn't for you then I don't need to annoy you reminders to review my ad campaigns maybe the impact my ads performance when I make a change to it just give me a nice line graph that'll be fine least important to know to target add to people who have visited my website because they'll come back if they want to what's most important to me here right now yeah sure why not nice line graph option it is impact my ad performance when I make change to it why not just give me a nice line graph um that would be aesthetic only my but this questionnaire is plodding yeah I need confirmation that I've set up conversion tracking properly because that needed to be simplified with simple language instead of the jargon for their stuff they use I don't need to target people based on their demographics. Uh, it would be a lot easier to have things simple. Suggestions for keywords that are most cost effective. I don't need to worry about that. I can see it clearly if I want to, but I don't. I don't want to worry about it. Reminders to review my ad campaigns easily find my Google Ads account yes I need it to be one click from an option under my YouTube so that it just it's integrated I want the option for integration that's what I want how much I've spent on my ad campaigns I'm not worried about money fuck off guidance on who to target nope ad budget to be used evenly through the day or month that allocating when it gets spent I've already done that <clears throat> selected to run the ad on what was it yeah you can select it to run on one day a week or all days of the week throughout the entire day or set amount, uh, set time from what time to what time you can set that so that'll determine when the ad budget gets used difference between AdWords Express AdWords and Google My Business <laughs> honestly those three should be linked together and integrated right into my YouTube channel based on which one I have and which one I'm using so the one I use the most should be at the top of the list then the next one then the next one that way it's all integrated and, and easy.
Okay, so I need to be able to easily find my Google Ads account, and I need to understand the difference between AdWords, Express, AdWords, and Google My Business. Those two are the top two, but I can only select one. So it was easily find my Google Ads account. It would be much easier for that the way I've said it. Okay. Still thinking about each of the needs that you have throughout your ad buying process. To what extent is the train running through here while I'm yappity yappity? To what extent is each need met by AdWords Express smart campaigns? I need to be able to easily find my Google Ads account. It is not met at all. No, it's not. I have to be 100% honest there. Early indicated that you use the following digital marketing platforms. Please select which one has driven the most business success. Um, well, I'd have to say Facebook because I befriended half of uh, half of um, India, and that's where a lot of my views come from on the YouTube demographics. I gotta be honest there. I mean, it kind of sucks to be honest, but you know the truth might hurt, but. Better to go ahead and rip that band-aid off. Uh, trust me, you'll thank me later. You indicated that Facebook page drives the most business success for you. Still thinking about each of the needs you have throughout your online marketing. To what extent is each need met by Facebook page? Easily find my Google... No. It does not help me find my Google Ads account. Not at all. How satisfied or dissatisfied are you with AdWords Express? I am extremely satisfied, to be honest, because before I didn't have it, and uh, I, I was getting like zero views, basically, and then I started advertising, and then I got more people actually subscribed. so. There you go. That's why I'm extremely satisfied. It has been incredible. Are there needs you have that are not being met by AdWords Express that you would like the team to be aware of? Yes. <coughs> the KISS method. Now keep it simple. Keeping everything as simple as possible for me. And full integration uh, in in inter 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 -G -R, -I -N -T -I -N, between YouTube and my ad account. Yeah, I've explained that before uh, several questions ago. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. We will be using your response to help guide our priorities across our ad buyers needs for 2018-19. You can now safely close this browser tab. Well, thank you. I took my time on it to make sure I filled out everything as honestly and concisely as possible, but the cookie-cut nature of 
uh, a lot of questionnaires these days make it difficult so that's why that's one of the many reasons why I made this video so um, you guys over at Google Ads if you're seeing this bear with me and uh, you know take a few notes but most importantly full integration optional for whoever wants full integration between their Google Ads and their YouTube account to merge them together so you guys at Google um, YouTube and Alphabet you're gonna have to get together and work on that that's gonna take several months of planning then a trial run I'll volunteer for that you know right here I'll volunteer for the trial run I'll do it free of charge just to see how well it works point out glitches and bugs and errors and UI tweaks that would help benefit me you're gonna have to do, do a complete UI uh, for everybody individually like let them customize their UI as far as complete integration and keeping everything simple yes you've got your technical jargon that you use but at the same time I, I am way too busy with just one me running everything to understand technical jargon 24-7. So use layman's terms. Simple things. Keep it simple. I'm far too busy for the complexity. That's the addition. And honestly, end of this video. This, this has been mostly for information, so yes, it's boring, plotting, and probably a little bit pedantic. But uh, for those of you who do understand and, and appreciate the, um, the need for such simplicity and ease, yeah, go ahead and give a, a thumbs up. For those of you who watch this hoping for something, and you, you you didn't get what you were hoping for go go ahead and give a dislike and and hammer out a comment let out all your your anger and and just be mindful don't attack anyone individually and, and I give you all permission as I always do to call me an idiot but beyond that don't go any further till next time everyone bye